Hello friends, today I will show you how to make nuts and dry fruits ladu. We can also say a sweet balls and using the same ingredients, we'll make two different types of ladu. So let's begin. HTC fam, fun and food. Let's get started. Here I have uh, some seedless that now let's put that in the blender to make it coarsely grounded or if you don't prefer to use a blender you can also chop it into some fine pieces and I'm adding here the moist resin along with that that means we'll combine the wet and the moist one together you can see here the consistency is perfectly fine let's put it aside for now for easy to use later let's move on add a little bit of ghee in a preheat pan we'll first roast the almond because it takes little more time than the other nuts still well until it gets started to crack a bit we'll now add a cashew nut walnut hazelnut sunflower seeds pistachio peanuts flax seeds and lastly sesame seeds stir well Let's roast them all properly in a medium flame and go on stirring not to let it burn. All our nuts and seeds get properly roasted now and I will divide the roasted nuts into two halves putting them on a plate separately. Now let's put the other half of the roasted ingredients into an empty pouch. Yeah, let's put them all in the big one the bigger ones do not close the lid tightly okay I'll release the air a bit and with the help of the rolling pins I'm gonna heat or hammer it over and over again to get a roughly chopped texture right you have to go on heating not too hard we should not make it too powdery now this is perfectly fine and let's pour it out and it's ready to use Next, we'll put the other half of it into a blender to make a fine powder. I prefer this method especially for kids because there are times that kids doesn't want to eat ladu seeing the visible nut. So here, we can see that the nuts and the seeds release a little bit of oil that makes our mixture look a bit moist, not too powdery. Uh, but not a problem let's keep it aside for now now we'll add a little bit of ghee into our preheat pan and we'll add a mess that into the pan let's heat for a while in medium flame now it's time to add our finely blended ingredients combine them well We'll now add a cardamom powder, a little bit of, and pre-roasted poppy seeds, not too much, and a little bit of nutmeg, grated nutmeg. Let me let's mix them properly, and this is ready. We can take it out and put it in a bowl and let it cool down in a room temperature. You can see here now our mixture is slightly moist because the dead even release oil itself. As usual, like the first one, we'll add a little bit of ghee into a preheat pan. Then we'll put the mass that into the pan and let it rest till it releases oil a bit. And for extra sweetness, I'm adding a jaggery here. Let it melt down a bit and then let's add our roughly chopped nuts and seeds. 
and we'll add a pre-roasted poppy seed. Also, we'll add a raisin here and a dried cranberry and a grated nutmeg, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of a cinnamon powder. Then we'll mix well till we get this perfect consistency. Okay, we have to mix gradually. Now let's also transfer into a bowl and let it cool down in a room temperature. Now it's time to make a bowl, so here we go. So friends, here is the outcome. It looks very yummy and super delicious. You can also prepare this tasty laddu at your home on special occasion or you can simply enjoy the goodness of dry fruits and nuts with your loved ones at home. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.